Guess who's back with a brand new track that everybody on the f Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, go ahead and hit on that subscribe button and all my socials will be around the screen somewhere now. Go check them out. I was in one of the local shops during the week and I came across lots of different sweets that I had as a kid and I haven't seen them since. There's a bag full of them on the floor and they've been in the room for about three or four days now and I've shown them to everyone who's come across them and they're like, how have you not eaten them yet? And I was like, well, being a YouTuber, you have to wait for like three or four days to film a video in order to give your opinions on what you think of the sweet. And then you can eat the rest of them. Here goes, please share this video, please like it and hit on that subscribe button turn it gray yeah let's get on with the video bag what will I take out first strawberry laces very strawberry very nice very strawberry do you know what I'm just going to do this they're everywhere so on a scale of one to five I'd probably give these a four because these are absolutely incredible they're like they're like Twizzlers if you're from America or I can't remember what the other ones are called they're like long sticks so we've chew it's extreme sour tutti fruity and you get six of these so we'll try them that's what the sweet looks like it's not chewy it's probably gonna take me 10 hours to uh definitely sour I ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really it's hard to describe it okay it's gone what would i say about that it was like a bite after it's like it goes down but you have like an aftertaste it says on the packet chew it chew it's are meant to be chewable that ain't chewable i'll give that three out of five we've got rainbow assorted fruit flavor bubble gum i think i might try this last because bubble gum lasts forever Approximately 10 hours later. I've been chewing that for like 10 hours. Definitely bubblegum as bubblegum goes. So if you're thinking about bubblegum, it's a definite like five on a bubblegum skin. Next we have Mega Mouth Strawberry Spray and I don't like it. Yeah, okay, after um, after a bubblegum, I think this is gonna be weird. It's supposed to taste like a strawberry, but we'll give it a go. Definitely sour strawberry. I think this is very sugary. I mean, who would get this? Like, what purpose does anyone have to spray strawberry into their mouth? That isn't even worth talking about or giving a review, but if I had to give it a review, I'd probably give it a one because I don't see the point in spraying strawberry stuff into your mouth. What else is in here? Dib Dab Softies. Now, I don't think these were around when I was a kid, but um, dib dabs were and I have a dib dab in there so I'm gonna try dib dab but I've never tried these before in my life and they are the dib dab softies I don't even know how to describe what it feels like it's definitely a jelly okay the aftertaste is worse than the actual sweet you definitely get the taste but it's not the dib dab taste that you get it's more like a god off soury strawberry they are supposed to be dip dabs and this it tastes nothing like what dip dabs are supposed to taste like maybe a two what's next in my bag of goodies <gasps> everyone loves these i showed what i've got to some of my family members and some friends and they've all said that they want these and mom's tried to hide them a couple of times but i mean everyone loves a good rainbow drop right so we'll take, that wasn't meant to happen. I don't know if it's me or not, but these taste different from what I remember. Ah, now they're tasting like what they're meant to. I could eat the whole bag of these right now. Sorry, mom. <laughs> these are so good. Definitely a five out of five. But if you don't like rainbow drops, who even are you? If anyone remembers the, these, um, what we used to call our paper cigarettes, there was these things called candy sticks. You even get tattoo. But I'm trying to find one that isn't broke. So I can show you. But I don't remember them tasting this bad. They just taste different to what I remember. I don't know, there's a different texture 
or consistency to what I remember these used to be. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> I'm allergic to sweets. Okay, what's next? What's this? Haribo Tang Fastic Stick. And I think this is supposed to be sour, but um, yeah, we'll try it. It's like, you know those licorice sticks that you get? Definitely it tastes orange though. It isn't bad. There is slightly uh, sour, but yeah, I think I might take another bite of this because that's actually really good. That's a four. That's definitely a four. Okay, next we have, oh, does anyone remember these? The soft jellies by Maynards and Bassett's. These remind me of like, like if you look at it, you'll see like they remind me of the, the dinosaurs by what is that company called again? Natural Natural Confectionery or something like that. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. mm -hmm. Tastes as good as I remember. I love the taste of Maynards and Bassett. Well, you get a decent bag of them. Can't complain. And there's a good few different color sweets. So there's like green, yellow, orange, red. Is there a... And they're different shapes as well. So like it's, it's wild safari. Mostly they're known for their wine gums. So yeah, but I said these were in the stock. So I said I'd try these because I've never tried them before. And I wanted to see what they tasted like. Definitely, what would I give that? The uh, three and a half. Three and a half out of five. We have, oh, I remember this one so well and everyone loves this. I remember like walking into the discount store and getting loads of like uh, five cent sweets. They always had the little gummy pizzas. And so when you went in to get your sweets, you would go like, it's mine. Oh my God, it was such like, I remember. Childhood memories coming back. So, so good. Okay, but yeah, I would give that Definitely a four and a half out of ten. That is worth every cent. Oh my god, it's the big baby pop. It's strawberry flavored. I wonder if this is going to be better than that because aren't they the same company that made these? But yeah, how do you open? Ah, there we go. So I remember is that you had your sherbet and then you had to... There we go. Kids, I do not recommend you use your teeth. Oh yeah, there we go. And then you, it comes out like that. Um, um, okay, I'm not liking any of their products. So I'm gonna put the lid back on that and probably throw that in the bin. That will probably be as low as that. Flip and dip push pop. Oh Lord. Okay, well I'm guessing that's where the sherbet is. So I guess I have to open it from the other end. I hate wrappers. Maybe. Okay, is that meant to be? Oh, okay. Is that the way it's supposed to be? And that doesn't come off. And then how do you, oh, okay. So, oh no, what's that sherbet stuff again? So, um, you have your, oh, I remember these. I never liked these. So you have your like, your stick full of whatever that is. Is that sugar? Is that like dried up sugar? I don't know. And then you have the same sherbet that was in the, that what baby thing. I don't know, we'll try. Oh dear, it's spilling. Oh, look, it's already made that mess again. Actually, that isn't as bad as the baby pop. I definitely prefer that one to the baby pop. So I think the process of trying to open that was more challenging than actually eating it. Works, there you go, that's your... We have plain chewets in the fruit salad flavor. That's what it looks like with the paper. Ow, my teeth. I probably have to get a fill in now. If I have to compare them, I actually prefer these ones. I actually do prefer them. Unless my teeth don't crack. I mean, they come in different flavors, but they're not the sweet, they're not the sweet I'd buy. I wouldn't give it the worst rating in the world because it doesn't live up to its name and well I don't know does it live up to its name when it's just cracked my teeth in half. Give it a 2.5. Are we nearly there? Oh zappers. Good old fashioned zapper. 
Oh Jesus, the size of them. Okay, we'll try a green one. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Not good. Add sour. I think it's just the um, initial first few bites that is really sour. Oh yeah, mega sour gum. That would make sense. Okay, well that definitely lives up to its name when it says mega sour. Um, that's bubble gum again. Okay. They were definitely a childhood favorite of mine because like, if you couldn't afford bubble gum, get your zappers, they're good. Um, what would I give them? That's another bubble gum to try. So next we have the licorice, are you staying? You're in the yeah. video now. Yeah. Next we have the licorice Catherine wheels. Now I know my grandfather absolutely adores these because my grandfather is an, a licorice expert and he has been his entire life. So I know he loves these, but I've never tried them. They have like that um, Bassett sweet in the middle of them and I've never liked them sweets, but okay. So we're going to try a bit. Cheers. No, I really do not like licorice. That was like a 0 0.1100. 0, 0. Ah, yeah. absolutely horrible. Next. Okay, so as I mentioned with the Dip Dab Softies, I've got the Dip Dab Sour. Um, normally it comes in strawberry, but what flavor is this? Is this apple? Okay. So you get your lollipop and it's green. You get this and you dip it in here like any dip dabs would be. Mm. Mm. I mean, I've had sour things in my life, sour. It's not, maybe if I just, maybe, okay, that, that color of that lollipop looks disgusting. Looks like someone got sick on it. It's just like the strawberry one, but like with the taste of apple instead of strawberry. Right. Mm, yeah, it's I'm gonna put that on right your now. opinion. An another, old favorite. An another, another, old favorite. Another one by Babbitt. Good old fashioned Wembers. It's okay. nice to see they're back. Yeah. Okay, so I just broke a bit off. I hope this doesn't damage my teeth. Mm. That's how I remember it. Mm hmm. That is good. It's like. I have five. It's hard to describe it because it's one of those bars that like has a zing to it. If you like that kind of like taste in the middle of a bar, you would absolutely love that. And I remember that was like, that was one of the staple things growing up for me. It was everywhere and it was one of the nicest bars. That and fruit salad bars were everything. Pixie drop gummies. On a scale of, I've never had these before. On a scale of one to five, I'd give that a four and a half because I love it. I've been putting this one off because I don't know. This was the first one I touched in the bag. It, it's kind of like two packets, so. Okay, well, I've opened it. So we've got this uh, pen thingy, um, yeah. and there has two different sides to it. I guess this is a stick, because there's like, a, there's like a, what would you call that, like wishy? And then we've got the, oh, wait, okay, sorry. It hasn't opened. Um, are you supposed to like, like that? Mm. Seen from here, I think you squeeze this. Yeah, that's what I've done. And it, and you pour it onto it. Yeah, that's what I've done. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. There's worse things in the world than that, but it's not a good mix. Cheers to my last week, guys. Okay, it definitely tastes better with the juice or syrup or strawberry flavored sour gel. That's what it's called. That is the all. Definitely won't be trying some of them again, but it was nice yeah. to try them. Anyway guys, thank you for watching this video. It's been another week and I'll be back next week with another video for you guys. Hi. And I want to say thank you so much. Hit on that like button, share this video. If I could hit 30 likes, that would be amazing. Let me know what you thought. If you've tried these sweets before, if you like them, if you don't like them, what you'd give them out of 10. Peace, love you guys. Bye. Oh, hey there. Just in case you forgot, I have some other videos that I'd love you to check out. And don't forget to hit on that subscribe button and give this a big like. Thanks guys, see you next time. Bye!